Hey viewers, welcome to another game with Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing another hotshot game, and he is playing uh, support Zillion. Uh, simply because all of the other roles were already gone, except for AD Carry, and he didn't want to play AD Carry, I'm assuming. Um, he currently has his whole stream muted, so couldn't really hear what he was saying and why he decided to go this. And yeah, that's probably one of the reasons he's getting uh, ghosted, probably. That's why he turned off his stream, or the sound on his stream. I don't know if it's back up now, but it wasn't up between the two games, so he might have turned it off during the last game or something like that. I don't know. Um. Anyway. They are going to line up for this uh, blue buff defense. And I guess offense. They are going to get it. <laughs> and apparently they are assuming that the enemy is going to come in. Because they're not going for the, the wolves. They are just here to kill this. And they do have a jungle nocturne once again. Tr uh, trundle top lane, uh, TF in mid lane, and then um, Zillion with I think that's Vayne in bottom lane. Yeah, it is Vayne. Is he going top lane, Zillion? What? They're going support Trundle. Okay. That's new. I want to see the support Trundle, dude. Huh. That is very interesting. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway. Twisted Fate versus Morgana in mid. Um, yeah, Zillion versus Cannon here. And Zillion versus Cannon should be an interesting matchup because, well, Cannon can spam his skills as he likes because he's energy based, obviously. And um, Zillion has quite a small mana pool in the beginning, so I don't know if. Yeah, no, he's at 400 mana max. I'm not sure if uh, he has any. Uh, runes to support or to well amplify the amount of mana he has but yeah his bombs do quite some damage early game and if he can use them to harass the cannon that would actually be good but yeah he's um he has a lot of trouble here uh, with his early game uh, mana pool uh, but they are going to get the first blood here. Wow. Excellent. Cannon apparently not prepared for that. And uh, yeah, double buff uh, Nocturne is really hard to deal with, obviously. Because, well, he does slow and he does uh, do a lot of damage. And he has a fear and, uh, well, you saw the results. Yeah, the um, the bush is really coming in handy for these kind of ganks and I think the bushes are the main contribution of League of uh, of uh, Riot games to this uh, um, MOBA game type because they're not in the original um, well in, in Dota they were invented by Riot games and I think that's probably the best addition they made to it. I don't like the summoner spells, I don't like the fact that you have to level up summoners. I used to like it, but not anymore. Because I used to like it because I thought it would make a difference. People that are level 30 would be better than le people who are level, I don't know, 15. But in general, 
Yeah, that's true. At least they have more experience, but then you have the IP boosts or the XP boosts. So you can have people with like 100 games and they will be level 30. And they will not have the experience necessary to play in a game. And yeah, therefore, I don't think it's a good system. And it's more annoying than anything else because at low levels you cannot play with the same amount of runes you cannot play with the same amount oh, the runes are a decent addition if they were balanced at all but yeah I like that but yeah in general I think the bushes or the grass or whatever you want to call it they are the uh, the best addition So Cannon getting harassed quite a bit here, double bomb, and yeah that takes out about two thirds of his health. So another double bomb and he will be dead. And yeah, Cannon has to stay really really far back because the, the range on the double bombs is quite large. And yeah, with only two Dorn's rings, he yeah, Zillion already controls the whole lane. And yeah, well, everyone who played against Zillion knows that he is a great, great champion to play with. And he's not very hard. I mean, he's not the easiest champion, but he's definitely not that hard to play. He's just really fun to play. Because, well, the time bombs are a really, well, <laughs> annoying mechanism for your enemy. Because they're so hard to block with their all kinds of spell shields. They're really hard to, uh, well, to, to get rid of. To, well, to not get killed by them is really hard in general. So... Hotshot using all of his mana on his uh, his Q, his time bombs, uh, using his uh, uh, what's it called uh, rewind as sparingly as possible. Only used one double bomb because the rewind will actually add a lot of uh, mana to that combo, and he just doesn't have that. And he used one speed boost there to try to chase after cannon, but couldn't get it and is going to go for sorcerer shoes here to do some extra damage sorcerer shoes obviously very good to start with because of the magic penetration but also because of the extra movement speed and zillion with extra movement speed over cannon will mean that he can place even more bombs on him and he's going to yeah try to come in through the river uh, no, Cannon is no longer there, so might as well go in just the normal way. Yeah, getting one hit on all of the uh, the caster minions, and uh, that's exactly enough to take them out with the bomb. And since it, tra it takes three seconds and you have one attack per second, you should be able to do that. Oh, come on! Yeah, finally they do. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I thought he uh, he missed that, but they went for for the other guy because they had the kill on um, on Tristana anyway, and they just wanted to see whether they could get the Soraka as well. I think it's Soraka. Yeah, pretty sure it's Soraka. But yeah, the. <laughs> They had to kill on, Sura on on Tristana because she couldn't go anywhere. That's why Twisted Fate decided to gold card the other guy. But it looked really strange to see him go <laughs> for the wrong guy. <laughs> Anyhow, the uh, the lane is being pushed quite a lot. So yeah, there's the jungler. That's what I wanted to say. I mean, it is really risky when you do that and he is going to get killed here but yeah well had his ultimate up so was pretty safe 
And cannon is gone. Jungler is going to meet up with him. And even TF is there. But no problems, no problems. <laughs> yeah, he's so aggressive when he has his ultimate up. And um, yeah, now he has to go home because he's completely out of mana. Obviously, that's why Zillion is good mid or better in mid. Because, well, when he's in mid, he can actually get the blue buff. And now it's, uh, well, you can get the enemy blue buff, I guess. But that is really hard to do. Um, yeah, well. The cannon seems to have gone. Oh, no, 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 he just warded. He watered his, uh, his river to make sure that he doesn't get ganked. So double bomb there to take out all of these uh, small minions, all the caster minions, which obviously is a good idea. And he's going to try to take this one out as well. Yep, did get him. And yeah, he did get some more AP, so now he no longer has to uh, attack the caster minions. He can just, well, blow them up with one bomb. <laughs> and a uh, ward going down. Doesn't want to get ganked anymore. Once was enough. And it's going to come in here to get cannon. Wow, the double bomb going off, but it's not going to be enough. And he's completely out of mana once again. So, yeah, this is the problem that you have with, uh, with Zillion. Zillion is really mana hungry and... Yeah, especially early game, you will have quite a, l a bit of trouble uh, with his mana pool. And yeah, well, cannot afford anything else apparently. I think he will go for uh, something like the uh, come on, Rod of Ages to add some more mana to his mana pool. But might also go just for uh, Death Cap instantly and well, use his mana a little more carefully. So, once again taking out all of the uh, the small minions at least. And is he going to save Trundle? Trundle running away from him. And Cannon tagging him up quite a bit. He does get his ultimate off. Oh, Cannon should have waited there. That was a mistake. Because now they are... Oh, no, no, no. I don't know who it was, but... Oh, Lee Sin. Lee Sin is still not gone. But, yeah. They're not going to catch up. But yeah, Cannon should have uh, waited for the ultimate to wear off and then tower dive him. But yeah, not alone, obviously, because Cannon on his own is going to get double bombed and then killed. So, but as a team, they could have done that because it doesn't make sense to kill uh, Zillion when he has his ultimate up. But yeah, if he comes back, then he will have uh, the bomb up as well as the uh, the rewind. So, assuming that he has enough mana, he can double bomb you once again. But I don't think he has enough mana to do that, because his maximum mana is now 980. So, and I think... Yeah, that will be enough, assuming that he has full mana to begin with. But, 
yeah, it costs a lot of mana to uh, to double bomb and then revive yourself and then double bomb again. And is he going to die? Yep. Ultimate not nearly up. And I don't think the uh, Lee Sin even got an assist on that. Nope, only the turrets. So that was his own mistake. Apparently didn't realize that... Uh, indeed going for out of ages. But apparently didn't realize that Ganon would have his ultimate up. That's the only thing I can imagine. I mean... Yeah, why else would you do that? He didn't have enough mana he, to kill him. He didn't have his ultimate up, so he couldn't survive. Yeah, I'm not sure what the reasoning behind that whole thing was. but Twisted Fate using his ultimate to spot everyone. And then coming in, getting the... Wow, the easy kill there. On Morgana. And... Yeah, we see Hotshot running around the back, hoping to catch someone, because he was too late for the team fight. And um, yeah, all he can do is hope that he catches someone, and then he does. But yeah, <laughs> Cannon is not as stupid as he looks. Yeah, using a double bomb there to take out the the rates but yeah you can see that's a huge amount of mana that uh, just that double bomb oh if he can get this blue buff that would be huge cuz zillion without blue buff yeah that is no good at all oh there comes the enemy team no <laughs> Oh, is he? no, he's not going to die. He has his ultimate up and a flash, so. Yeah, it is safe to get out, and he's not going to be able to do anything here. Oh! <laughs> At least still there. Oh! <laughs> not a good game for hot shots. Not good at all. He needs a blue buff. Problem is, he's not getting it. He is in the wrong lane. He should have just gone for support. But they probably had some discussion about it. And Hotshot wanted to be uh, in top lane. But it's just no good. It's because he, he has to go back all the time. It, that's really the reason he's not further ahead. I mean, obviously he is ahead of Ganon, but I don't think he's that much ahead. He got a turret, and he probably has, well, more kills, but I think Ganon has more minions. Oh, he doesn't even have more kills. It's one and one. Never mind. I know he got a lot of like half kills that he almost killed him but then didn't have enough mana to finish it off or enough cooldowns or whatever. And he did die once, yeah. So Yep. Not sure what the the point of uh this was then. I mean I only now realize, well, not now, but uh, I didn't realize beforehand that if he goes top, he won't have access to the uh, to the blue buff. But, well, he's a pro. He, ne he knows that. He knows that that is a problem. And, yeah, that's a basically unsolvable problem if you're on the purple team. If you're on the blue team, that's a different thing. But... Yeah, you know that, that once the game loads, you know that you're on the purple or on the blue team. And is he going to get this kill? Yes, he did get a kill. <laughs> but he gets killed as well.
Anyway, his whole team dying there. And this Twisted Fate is getting really close to dying, but yeah, there we go. So some more mana regen. I think he should have gone for a lot more mana regen. Maybe the uh, chalice. I don't know. Maybe the tier of the goddess. Something that gives him more mana because he's been out of mana all game. And especially if you want to use a double bomb to take out the raids. And there goes his one advantage he had. The, the fact that he had a turret when Cannon didn't. At least he took out a lot of minions there. Because that's good. And yeah, he's going to try to be a little less wasteful with his mana, I'm guessing. Okay, or not, but... I mean, he just lost like one third of his mana bar just to farm a wave of minions. And didn't even get all of these, wow. But fortunately he does have quite good uh, mana regen now. And yeah. Big difference from last game. Last game he was never out of mana. And this game he's constantly out of mana. Obviously not at this moment because he just went home to uh, to refill. But still. Oh he has about 1800 mana now so that's why... Uh, yeah, that's why it takes a little longer this time. But already again at half. So... I wonder if this is really the best way to play this. <laughs> Goes home again. Oh. Yeah, well. And another mana crystal? Oh no, another another blasting one. Never mind. Oh, who was that? Twisted Fate getting killed there by, yeah, getting caught by the enemy team and then getting killed. So the enemy team doing dragon, really quick dragon there. They ran in and immediately ran out again. And that gave Hotshot the time to miss some minions. It's 9 and 8 by the way. That's not too bad. But, yeah, they lost a few dragons already. I don't know who uh, who got the first dragon, because... I'm, I don't remember if it's this game where the enemy already went for a dragon, but... I'm assuming they're behind two dragons now. But them, the first dragon might also have been the last game, I don't remember. Was focused too much on uh, on a hot shots lane. Nice spell shields from uh, from Nocturne there. And not a lot gets done. So yeah, it's uh, going to take a little while for this team to to get back into the race because obviously well they have some trouble with uh, with all kinds of things and one of the main troubles here is that Zillion is always out of mana and yeah as long as Zillion is out of mana he cannot really protect anyone with his ultimate And yeah, well, that makes team fighting a lot harder. 
I've never seen Zillion top lane, by the way. Yeah, I've seen Zillion in mid lane quite a few times and in bottom lane quite a few times. And I think I've even seen him in the jungle <laughs> at one point. That's not good, by the way. Don't do that. But yeah, never seen in top lane and now I know why. Because top lane zillion is no good. Oh, did he get it? Yes, he got it. Wow. The I think that was the Nocturne. I'm assuming that was the Nocturne. And who got the ultimates? Oh. Nocturne got the ultimates. But Nocturne wasn't even close to dying, so... Not sure what that was about. But yeah, Nocturne does a lot of damage, so I can see why he got the ultimate. Still, it's not uh, the best thing. <laughs> yeah, he, did, he didn't ult himself, and he wanted to. So probably smart cast, but had his, ma his mouse on the wrong guy. Wow, we really have some trouble with the FPS on this stream now. It used to be 20 all, all the time. And now it drops down to like 15 and 10 and all kinds of low numbers. Not really sure why that is. So normally he has a very good connection. Obviously, otherwise you're not going to be able to, uh, to stream this in this quality. Anyhow, hopefully it's not too much of a problem. And, yeah, well, he's just going to push his lane now. And probably help out in some other lane afterwards. And there we go, finally taking out the whole wave with just, just the two bombs. Well, and some some uh, basic attacks because he doesn't want to lose the uh, the minions to, uh, well, to his minions. Zillion is a really good farmer, it seems, especially late game, when he can. Uh, well, if he has the blue buff, then he can get quite a lot of damage done on the minions. So, finally going to get a blue buff here. He did get it, right? Yes, he did. Wow. And now he's going to die in like two seconds flat. <laughs> that would be so epic. <laughs> if he now runs into this uh, this bush and then dies. Because he wasn't paying attention, didn't use his ultimate. <laughs> So yeah, the whole team in mid, uh, the enemy team is probably also completely in mid, but yeah, it's hard to see on the minimap. It's not like you can actually count the coins, because all of them are, well, in the same spot. The coins are the little uh, pictures of the champions on the minimap. So yeah, not a whole lot happening for this moment, and yeah, he does have full mana now, so that's not the problem at this moment. And he has a uh, good cooldown reduction, and yeah, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, finally going to push a little bit. Uh, the enemy team got revealed there by the Twisted Fate ultimate. And Cannon coming in with the ultimate. And yeah, everyone still alive, it seems. Oh, finally people dying. 
And he ults himself. Although three guys just died. And then he dies again. Yeah, that wasn't good at all. I, I don't know where the fifth guy was. Did he die right in the beginning of the team fight? No, Nocturne was the fifth guy, so all of them were there. No, I have no idea. Yeah, I think Trundle died in the team fight, so I just wonder who the fourth guy was, or the fifth guy was, the fourth one who died, well, the first one who died, probably. Because I only counted four champions in the team fight. But, maybe wrong there. Maybe that I just miscounted. But that was definitely a bad team fight for them. Because I think they got one kill out of that, and yeah, they lost four. And Trundle just going after this <laughs> Lee Sin, but yeah, Lee Sin is very mobile. Can get out of everything. And yeah, I wonder if this is going to work. I mean, Zillion is... Yeah, he's decently farmed. He has 200 minions. But... Yeah, he's gone back so many times that he hasn't been able to help out anyone. And hasn't been able to harass Cannon enough, I feel. But... Well, we'll have to see how that works out. going to farm up a little bit more I guess because that's what he does that's what that's the hotshot way of playing League of Legends just getting as many minions as you can as much gold as you can and who's going to get it twist fate no nocturne itself Nice snare there from uh, Morgana. Putting him at the half life. And yeah, super minions. Super minions are hard to blow up with your bombs. In fact, it would take a huge amount of bombs to get that. So that makes it harder to defend for uh, uh, for for Zillion. but they do have plenty of AD, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, I'm not sure why he would go for oracles at this moment, but sure. I would say that the jungler or no the. Uh, the support in this case, the Trundle should get it. Because it seems that Trundle would be, well, much harder to kill. And he can run a lot more ar all over the map, because Zillion is more of a support champion. And Trundle is more of a, let's just kill things while nobody's looking. So I'm not actually sure if Trundle still works the way he should when he uh, didn't get any farm. Oh, the whole enemy team is there and they're split up once again. Uh, Zillion not really in a range to do damage. Oh, and is split off from his team. Still split off from his team even after that. And yeah, he's, he's going to get killed. There we go, ultimate doing nothing here. Well, he still needed to cast it, just to make sure that... Well, at least he had a chance to get out of that. <sighs> just surrender, guys. 
It's 12 to 19, they have no chance at all. Zillions should have gone support and Trundle should have gone top lane. Would have been so much better. <coughs> Although I'm not sure about the matchup between Cannon and Trundle, but yeah, since Hotshot only got one kill, don't think it would have made a big difference. <sighs> Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Gigi.